for people who are going through chronic stress, it can be double or triple that that amount of money. And but that's only come about in the last few years. So what we want to try and do is to recognize. And this directly relates to the video that we've just recorded Absolutely. now, about, which is about the cortisol levels. Do you want to briefly give an introduction on that? Why you decided to tackle this video? on yeah, this particular topic? Um, I, I decided to do it partly because um, there's been quite a lot in the papers and uh, on news platforms about cortisol in recent times. There's been certain articles out there about how stress, or at least the perception of stress when you kind of go to your doctor about it, so this, you know, I guess what people would call chronic stress, um, how that's affecting insurance premiums, which I thought was, was amazing. You know, it's just life insurance yeah. premiums now, because it is seen as so detrimental to our well-being and to our physical health that you know it's it's actually pushing up people's premiums significantly. So what might have been you know a twenty or thirty, forty pounds a month premium for people who are going through chronic stress, it can be double or triple that that amount of money, and. But that's only come about in the last few years. So what we want to try and do is to recognize when people are in chronic stress, which is when essentially their body is producing cortisol far more of the time than is, you know, sensible, frankly, or, or um, what, you know, what, what you'd want to happen. Because you know, having cortisol and other stress hormones is important. We need them to survive. Yeah. But, you know, it's like anything, you know, you don't want it all the time because that causes its own problems, you know? Um, so from my perspective, I wanted to tackle this particular, you know, concern that people have raised with me um, and just show how ACT can help, how ACT can stop us from getting caught up in the cycle of thoughts, which leads to the production of stress hormones to actually, you know, bring ourselves back into balance and not get carried, you know, effectively down the rabbit hole, if you like. Of, uh, of of overthinking which is you know let's be honest what a lot of us do at particular points in time i certainly did a huge amount of it and yeah. at times if i let myself i probably still would i know that i overthink a lot but i've turned it for myself especially in this job i overthink of all the scenarios that can go wrong like on the Absolutely. day of the shoot and everything i've learned to use that now as more the power so mm. that if I'm worrying about that, I go, okay, so that is the worry. What is the solution? And mm. if it's something I can actively do myself, I will. Mm. And I know then that there's a lot that's just purely down to luck and chance. And once I've realized that, I don't think about it. Do you think people have, I've, I've come to that realization myself, but do you think a lot of people don't get to that naturally and they struggle with that they do um there's a there, there's a belief um and to some extent you know this points to us as human beings being a little bit arrogant frankly mm. there's a belief that because we are so cognitively aware you know i think therefore i am and we have language and abstract thoughts and all this kind mm. of stuff that in some way shape or form we should be able to control our brains yeah. yeah we should be able to control everything that's going on around us yeah but the reality is that that we can't you know this part of our brain this prefrontal cortex or the neocortex which there's a bit of a hint in there you know it's new relatively speaking is a fantastic piece of kit for problem solving but it's also hooked up to a bit of a threat center yeah so you're getting stories produced which is linked up to a threat center and your mind then wants to control yeah. Now, if there is no mechanism for, for, or, or action that can be reasonably taken or you are responding inappropriately to a particular thought, you're actually going to end up getting more of the anxiety in the future. But what we talk about in ACT is saying, OK, well, a thought comes up and it's either helpful or it's unhelpful. Yeah. And if we have a helpful thought, we take action. In respect of it yeah. so what you were talking about just now if you're going on a shoot you'll have thoughts things you know you'll be thinking oh, what could possibly go wrong okay well what can i actually deal with here mm. you deal with the you know the solvable if you like yeah and the unsolvable becomes something that you know you kind of let go of 